hi everyone thank you for joining so this is another video of my weekly favorites if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is Laura si son nuevas en mi canal hola bienvenidas mi nombre es Laura I will get started into the weekly favorites so the first one is this flower BB cream I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about this brand already it is like pretty much all over YouTube at the moment but so far what I can tell you is that I really have been liking it my shade is BB2 up there and I don't know it's really nice I've been I have been tested it now that's why I haven't done the review yet because I want to give you guys a really good opinion about it but so far I really have been liking it my next favorite is the powder from flower cosmetics or flower beauty it looks like this let me open it this is the sorry this is a powder you guys can see me there it's a really good powder <clears throat> it's not like the best powder I've seen but it kind of has a little bit of coverage I love the way these two work together whenever I apply the BB cream it looks really nice but when I apply this powder over it it just makes it look flawless not even kidding so I really have been loving this combination this is like to me it's like my new favorite thing at the moment like I don't know it's this wet n wild Fergie take on the day eyeshadow primer I saw a review from Kendall's place which I'll put the review down below a review and I really liked it and I was like you know what I'll give it a try you know if I don't like it if it doesn't work like because it's supposed to stay on all day if it doesn't work I'll just return it and so I did the only thing is that you do have to like shake it really really good like I literally shake it like this on my on my desk like I shook it for about two minutes nonstop. I was just like this. Just kidding. I wasn't like that, but I was you know, you know what I mean. And then I got the product out. Okay, because the first according to a lot of girls, the first time they squirted out, it just like a lot of water or oil came out or whatever. But it was because of that. I mean you just had to shake it up. I think it's a great dupe that's just me personally I think it's a great dupe for the shadow insurance from Too Faced so if you guys love this swear by this definitely give this baby a try give it a try if you don't like it the first day just go, go back and return it you know keep your receipt go return it this thing is my new love my next favorite is actually like a receipt a rediscovered mascara from my collection and it is the 3d volume by photo ready looks like this the wand looks very similar to the bad gal lash from not bad gal they're real from benefit it's like this and at the beginning I'm not gonna lie I didn't really like this mascara because I felt like it was too wet I don't know I just didn't really like it but I feel like since it's been there on my drawer for months now I think like two or three months already it's already dried out a little bit it's still wet but not as wet as it used to be so I feel like that's what might have happened that's why I pretty much fell in love with it again and I've been wearing it all this week except one day I think but I've been wearing the majority of this week and I really have been loving it so if you guys had this mascara and hated it and you still have it try it again you might fall in love with it My favorite have been the flower lipsticks I really love these lipsticks I have several that I picked up I love them this is the first time I wear this color but what I'm trying to say I, I really like the formula that it has it's definitely a matte finish lipstick but if you guys have tried the Revlon ones, those are like matte. And even though I love Revlon, those lipsticks, I feel like now when I wear them, they look matte, but they're not as creamy as these. 
I will do a review on them, but so far I really have been loving them. And then my them. last favorite has been another rediscovered item, and it has been the Evian Facial Spray. It looks like this. I know they sell these at Sephora. They sell like a twin pack, but they're like the mini travel sizes. They sell them for about 12 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Or you can get this beautiful, large, you know, big girl here. I got it at Ulta for $15, and it moisturizes just pretty much to refresh your skin. Similar to the, I think this is very similar to the Max uh, Fix, Pl Fix Plus. Yeah, Fix Plus. It's nowhere near like the setting spray from Scandinavia or Urban Decay. This will not set. It, it, it can set your makeup, but it's not going to make it last long, you know? But I like it because whenever you have a powdery look, you just spray a little bit of this and it'll like take that powdery look away. Uh, if you feel like your skin's super dry, even though you already moisturized, spray some of this. It's going to make it look a little bit not do it but it's gonna make it look like fresh you know basically I've been using the BB cream with this like I'll just spray this on my skin after I moisturize and then I'll prime my BB cream with a stippling brush which I've been using this one from Real Techniques and I just feel like it just really helps my foundation go on smoother even though this is the thicker consistency so I really have been loving this one Really quick, the nail polish of the week has been, the one that I wore for the majority of the week has been the Deborah Lipman in Naked. It looks like this. And the one that I have on today, which I love this nail polish. I've worn it several times a year. And it is a Lilaxism by Essie. Gorgeous color. My regret, you guys, is actually a foundation. I'm a very I'm a foundation lover. Like I love trying new foundations, BB cream bases. I really love I really love them even though I know I don't need all of them. I love to try new foundations. And this one I bought it actually probably 4 or 5 months ago. No, I think I bought it a long time ago, like 6 months ago. It was before I started YouTube. I bought it and I kind of liked it the way it applied. But I don't know, I've recently been, when I reached for it and tried to use it, the first day I wore it, I don't know, I just didn't really like it at all. I don't like the way it looked on me. I'm talking about the Origin Stay Tuned foundation. I was like, you know what, now my skin's a little bit more drier, let me try it, it should work. But it didn't. It made me still feel, it made me look oily and splotchy. Like, ugh. I would apply it. And it would blend in my skin really nice. I didn't have any problems by blending it. But all the makeup from here kind of went up. So I only had like makeup here. And you could see. And I was like, you know what? Like it just faded away from here. And I wasn't even sweating. The temperature outside was not even hot. We were like around the 70s. or I mean, it's pretty hot. But to us, it's not as hot as usual. But I don't know, I just didn't really like it. And um, I really don't care for this foundation anymore. I'll link everything, like I said, down below. Or I'll try to link everything if I can find it online. I'll link it down below that way you guys can check it out. Oh, and another favorite has been this flower that my husband gave to me on Valentine's Day. He usually gets me, it's actually a rose, not a flower. Um, he usually gets me like roses, chocolates, you know a bear like those three that I have there and then I have more over there uh, those are like the typical gifts that you give I don't know he did it something he did something different this year he actually gave me this little I guess what do you call this pot no it's not a pot it's a little cute like ladybug I don't even know that's a ladybug but it's super cute it's actually this actually comes out and you can have a really cute decoration here. Then this, you can actually plant it wherever you want. Um, I'm trying to buy like a big, you know, plant holder. What do you call it? I don't even know. You know what I mean. I'm trying to buy one of these bigger ones. That way I can plant it. And he's like, here you go, babe. Now you can have more than a dozen roses. And I was like, that's so excited to do that. So thank you so much, babe. I love you. Mwah. 
I don't really think he sees my videos, but still, if he ever sees this video, I love you. Anyways, this video is so long. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.